Is the precise center of the target difficult to hit? Yes. Is the precise center of the target less likely to be hit than any other specific location on the target? No. What is the difference? Well, is there an aspect about the spaces in the center which make them more difficult to hit? Not really. They are the same as the spaces outside of the center. Assuming absolute randomness, each space inside of the center is just as likely to be hit as every space outside of the center. So any given space has the same likelihood of being hit. But there are fewer spaces inside of the center than outside. That is why the precise center is difficult to hit, because of the many, many other spaces which are not it. But there is no need for the goal to be the center circle. You could make the goal the edge, or everything but the edge, or this slice, or that slice. The value of the center is entirely arbitrary. Imagine a puddle waking up one morning and thinking, this is an interesting world I find myself in, an interesting hole I find myself in. Fits me rather neatly, doesn't it? In fact, it fits me staggeringly well. Must have been made to have me in it. This is such a powerful idea that as the sun rises in the sky, and the air heats up, and as, gradually, the puddle gets smaller and smaller, it's still frantically hanging on to the notion that everything's going to be alright, because this world was meant to have him in it, built to have him in it. So the moment he disappears catches him rather by surprise. I think this may be something we need to be on the watch out for. Is it unlikely that modern humans would have come into existence on this particular planet? Yes. Is it unlikely that any intelligent life forms would have come into existence on any planet? No. With 400 billion stars in our galaxy alone, which is itself among trillions, it is almost a guarantee that intelligent life will develop somewhere. It only needs to happen once out of billions and billions of opportunities, like holding every ticket when the lottery numbers are announced. The circumstances needn't even be ideal. Our planet isn't finely tuned for us. We are finely tuned for it. Life is malleable and adaptable, and will find a way to develop and prosper wherever it appears. We are such a tiny part of this universe, a minuscule blip, the outlier of all outliers. To say that this universe exists for us is analogous to all of Earth being said to exist for a certain single molecule of hydrogen. All that was needed was for one extreme fluke of a planet out of billions and billions to be capable of sustaining life in order for there to be some intelligent species in this universe to wonder, isn't it amazingly unlikely that we would exist?